All right. So hi everyone. Just a disclosure. I am in the room right next to my dogs. So, you know, they're kind of wanting my attention right now. So if you hear some whimpering, those are my puppies. So I am back to finish the review of the Flex Menstrual Disc. Um, and this is part two. Um, if you want to watch part one, that link is in the description box or you can just visit, visit the Let's Talk um, playlist. Um, so thank you everyone for um, listening to my podcast, Minding Your Purpose podcast. The link is below. You can also listen to that on Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and it's one more, but I cannot remember at this time. But, but thank you everyone for supporting that project. Thank you everyone who um, is also supporting my um, partner Char Thrilla. Be sure to follow him on Instagram at Char Thrilla as well here on YouTube. We're going to be coming up with another um, video for those of you who watched the MSL review. We will be coming up with part two for that. And for those of you who've been supporting my baby sister, Crystal.Renee, the link to all of these things are in the description box. So let's get to it. Flex. Flex. So, as you all know, I had indicated that my partner, Char Thriller, was coming into town and we had not seen each other in a really long time and we had never had, you know, penetrative sex. And so we wanted um, to, you know, move forward with a higher level of intimacy in our relationship. Um, but the timing, the timing was completely, completely off and he actually end up showing up when my cycle had come on. So I hopped on the internet and that's when I came across the Flex Menstrual Disc. Um, this box comes with um, 12 discs. I found it at Target. It was $14.99. And also, let's see, what else? I also had to, um, there was a couple of things I had to do. Um, which was one go on YouTube to um, review um, videos on how to insert and read the comments. Again, when you go to those videos on YouTube, um, read the comments in the comment section. That's going to give you a lot of information on what to have heads ups for. Um, so this is one that has already previously been opened. I'll show you again. This is the pack that it comes in and when you remove it I have one that's already removed this is what it looks like this is what it looks like and so I talked about how to insert everything in there now going through you know a full cycle with this I was really 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 impressed with how I, you know, rem remain fresh and clean, which we're always concerned when you think about these things about leaks and things of that nature. I didn't experience any of that when I was um, using. Um, now, I will be honest, I, the removal process, I gave a nickname to, um, which was CSI. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I learned some a couple of tricks to to help things out there um, in the removal process that made it, you know, <laughs> less as intense. But it was funny in the beginning, and but I got the hang of it pr um, pretty quickly. Now, the sex part. When I had this on, first of all, I couldn't tell that I was wearing it. Um, it really didn't interfere with um, us being intimate. Uh, there were certain things that we didn't do because you know we just didn't feel, I didn't feel as comfortable and he didn't feel as comfortable in doing certain things. But you know when when we initially tried 
I think one of the errors that I made is that I didn't use a, a, a fresh disc. And I think if that if you're going, if you have an idea that you're going to be intimate, then you probably like within the first hour or two before or around the time, you know, you want to change out. Um, because the disc says that it lasts for 12 hours, I was just like, oh, okay, you know. But I think it kind of makes a, a difference. Um, and that's one of my dogs. Um, it it, it kind of makes a difference in, um, you know, some of the outcomes. Uh, one thing I did notice the first time we used it, um, when we, you know, had sex, and um, we were using the the disc. I was using the the disc. I did have some spotting. Um, it wasn't a lot, uh, but I think that was more because of the timing, as far as how where I was in terms of my cycle. I was at the heaviest por portion of my cycle, as well as it had been a really long time since I had um, had intercourse and it was just, you know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. You know, sometimes, you know, because I was, you know, I was already, my body was already very sensitive. And so to receive him, um, in that sensitive area, you know, did have some initial irritation. Um, but that wasn't because of the product. That was just because I haven't had sex in a long time. And when I say a long time, I mean over a year. And um, also, you know, just my body being very sensitive because my, my cycle was on. And, um, you know, so, and plus, it was the heaviest portion of my, heaviest point of my cycle, and um, I had the disc in longer. Um, not longer than the 12 hours, but I think I was probably on hour seven when I had it on, and so I did have some spotting. Um, it wasn't like this rush or gush or anything, it was, it was spotting. Um, something very, very light. Um, so it wasn't like we had to do major cleanup or anything like that. Um, the second time we used it, it wasn't, there was absolutely no spotting whatsoever. Um, I did, the thing that I, I did differently is that before, you know, the, um, the evening, or before I retired to bed, <laughs> I made sure that I had um, a, a a new disc because um, sometimes I would, you know, I would change the disc around five o'clock, and then you would change it at five o'clock the next, um, you know, in the morning or somewhere around that time. But I made sure that I had a, a new disc, at least an hour so, so I wasn't wearing a disc um, longer than an hour um, or two before we were actually intimate. And that, I think, played the biggest factor in the outcome because there was absolutely, positively zero, no um, spotting whatsoever. Um, and I was still on within the set the heavy because usually three days of my cycle right in the middle are really really heavy and um and I was still you know in one of my heaviest days and so I we just we didn't have that issue um the second go around and so I was really really excited um and I I I will use this product again I will not um, intentionally I will not intentionally like use this product specifically for sex like I did this time um, because you know we can do a little bit more plan better planning than we did you know this last time but um, for for the time 
frame that we had and when everything has started exactly on the dot which normally sometimes I can be a week late or a week early but this time it started right on the dot I think it did exceptionally exceptionally well it did exactly what the product did exactly what it said that it was going to do um, it it held I didn't have any spotting on my clothing now they do recommend that as you get used to how to properly insert it that you wear like a panty liner now for me um, because of the skin condition I have I have to be very very careful about what I actually use against my, my um, body um, and, I, and I have a list of sensitive um, feminine products that I utilize and I'm going to share that with you um, with you all in a later video but as far as um, having sex and this product I will give it a um, for me personally I can't speak for anyone else but out of five stars I'm gonna give it all five because when I figured out how to properly use it for me it did exactly what it advertised to do and so I didn't have any um any leakage um or anything whatsoever so i was um very very happy my partner was very very happy and i you know i was i was i was, of course i was satisfied well i was satisfied with the product especially so um i hope to be back next week to talk about you know my um top feminine products for um sensitive skin and we will go from there until next time i will chat with you all later bye